customers at the Rimrock Mall were met with locked doors this morning after a man drove his truck through the front doors of a business, leaving the mall closed for most of the day. This left shoppers with more questions rather than answers. Small, quiet town, you don't really see stuff like this, and when it does happen, it's a big thing. Katie Barone wasn't the only shopper in for a surprise on Monday after realizing she wouldn't be able to purchase some games from the mall. And we were going to head to the mall today to go play. And then we got here and found out that there was a big wreck, so we're really disappointed. Billings firefighters say a 63-year-old man drove a pickup truck through the front doors of D-Bat Baseball and Softball Academy early Monday morning. Smoke from the truck filled the building. The fire department shared this picture on Twitter, advising shoppers to stay clear. But many showed up anyway, not knowing what had happened. He ran his truck in there and was spinning his tires trying to get out and then burned all the rubber off his tires. Daniel Connors came all the way from Butte and learned about what happened from a security guard. Now we're going to Bozeman, I guess, to hit their mall, which is too bad. It's still not clear why the driver plowed through the building. He was taken to a Billings hospital with unspecified injuries. But what customers do know, it was an unusual day and one that forced many to shop somewhere else. I think we'll probably head to Shields, actually, okay. and go play in their play place. And try to get some energy out. Rimrock Mall did reopen its doors around 3 p.m. on Monday. Tune in to our 10 p.m. show where Q2's Mitch Laggy will give you a more in-depth look at the damage that happened at the mall today. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.